I think said we're gonna have to try and just go through this section here. Now, of course, I don't want to push Rusty through too many thickets. Because, let's see, can we sneak through here? Okay, Seb, just be careful on the right and left here. So there's some very sharp thorns, and well, I should not stall the car. Let's try see if we can't just quickly slide through. There we go. We're good? Okay, cool. We've got to be careful of the antenna as well, as Seb says. Now, I don't know how I'm going to get to where he is. It always looks so open from the sort of outset. And then you... Oh, there we go. Sorry, 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 little boy. I didn't see you there. Sorry. It's actually Hosanna. It's not Tinga. Oh, Tumba, actually. It is Tumba. So this is Tumba. It's not Tingana or Hosanna. It's just that he's got massive feet again, so he's fooled a whole bunch of other people. But that is Tumba. It's not Tingana at all. I don't think. I think it's Tumba. We'll have to just get another view of him. They've got another one over there, maybe. Maybe it's Tundi and Tumba. That would make a lot of sense. Well, this is cool. I'm super excited if it is little Tumba. He's just sort of strolling in front of us. Now, I just want to ask Mark if he's got another leopard, because Mark's the guy that's with us in the sighting. Mark, Mark. Do you have another ingwe where you are? Okay, I've got uh, one young Midori here. Thank you. So that is definitely little Tumba. You can see those light-colored eyes, that pink nose, and those bright, bright black markings around the face. So Tumba is still around this area. Now, yesterday somebody gave us a report that Tandi and Tumba's tracks were at Chitwa. It seems as though that is not the case. Now, I wonder if Tingana was also around this area as well. But that is most definitely Tumba. Recognize that beautiful face anyway. Hey, Seb. Oh, he is magnificent. And look at him in this morning light. Yes, I think Ali and Taylor will both be very jealous. Megan is just saying to me that that's their bogey animal for both of them. I think Taylor's only seen him twice and has never seen Tundi, apparently, which is crazy to think that, you know, she's been here a lot longer than I have, and I've had quite a few sightings of Tundi already, and Ali hasn't seen Tundi either. So that both of them are in for a treat when they do see Tundi. She's a beautiful, beautiful female, and my favorite of the females that we see out here. So hopefully they'll both get to see her, but... He is magnificent. Now, I think he's in a state of much like what the elephant was doing and going to the toilet just now. So I think he's just caught in a bad place at this stage, but I'm sure he'll move from where he is. Not that I'm complaining because it's a perfect view for us. He came out from behind that thicket, and isn't he magnificent? He is one of the most beautiful leopards you could ever wish for. And it's amazing how big his feet are. You know, Hosanna has got biggish feet, but this guy's feet, they really do look as though they're almost Tingana size. You get confused with his feet often. I know that a lot of the trackers out here have all said to me that it's Tingana's tracks. And, well, there we go. The tracks that we followed were for a male leopard, and they just turned off the bush. And I wonder if he didn't hear our vehicle, and he just came off and turned off before we got here. And if we had actually just looked, we might have spotted him. Where are you off to? Are you coming to say hello? A lot of you say he looks quite tired. I agree with you. He does look as though he's had a, a long day. Are you coming to say hello, big boy? Yes, you are. He is so cool. The more I see this cat, the more fond of him I become. He looks very good as well. Look, he's got a little bulge to his belly, so he's obviously had a good meal somewhere recently. So maybe eating and kind of moving around. See, he's sniffing. So this is all new areas for him and it's amazing how much time they've been spending around here it's definitely here a lot more than we've actually been finding them it's time to actually start concentrating and try to find them every day because they seem to be here most days and he's now heading back down towards the road i wonder if he's not going to make another damn cam appearance I wonder if he wasn't the one that was actually walked across the damn wall. It must be him because the tracks come from there. I followed those tracks all the way along Central, which comes from the damn wall itself. So it must be from where he came. Seb, that's awesome. Isn't it? When we see this little boy, I always get so excited. He's such a 
good looking leopard and he seems to always be up to something and well there we go so Juma spots and Mara tawny colored lions and that's then a perfect perfect way to start a cat today oh now I'm trying to get over a big branch but Rusty doesn't want to go over come on Rusty so while we try and sort of keep up with little Tumba because he's going to go into some horrible bush let's go back to Steph and see how he's doing and where he is and well what's going on on his side of the world on this beautiful morning